everyone, and welcome to Stacy's Kitchen. Yet another exciting episode of Stacy's Kitchen. So, guys, today we will be cooking up some local favorites. I want to do some callaloo, some cuckoo. My aunt will be assisting me with some cuckoo today. Um, I guess you all know her already from Tammy's Treats. So, Auntie Merle will also be here today. And, guys, so we're going to be having callaloo, macaroni pie, cuckoo, and some red beans. So guys, stay tuned for all of that cooking. But first, I want to head on down to JTA Supermarket at the C3 Shopping Center, where I will be getting all these yummy ingredients today. Let's go. So guys, I'm here at the C3 Shopping Center. I'm going to do some shopping at JTA Supermarket today. Hi. Hi, good day. Welcome to JTA Seastree. Oh, this is really nice. So, I'm here from Stacy's Kitchen and I'm about to do a bit of shopping for my Sunday lunch. So, can you tell me where I can find some of the best deals on your peas and seasonings and stuff like that? No problem. So, we have our specials on lane 2B and you can also check out lane 12B for peas and stuff. Oh, That's thank you so name. much. So, what's your name? Rian. Rian? Oh, Rian. Nice meeting you. All right, guys. So... Um, doing some Sunday lunch, so let me go to the vegetable aisle first. Let me see if I get a pack that's cut up already to make life easier. All right, so I'm gonna go with this, with this Kalaloo pack, of course, for my Kalaloo. And let me go see if I get some peas for my red beans. All right, so I think I'm seeing some red beans here. And this looks really nice. I'm gonna go with some Carlton's Choice red beans. And it's so affordable. And let me get some milk for my macaroni pie. All right, I'm just gonna go with a full cream milk. All right, so I wanna get some stuff for my macaroni pie. Because you know, we cannot have Sunday lunch without some pie. Callaloo pie, red beans. The supermarket is so huge, very spacious. All right, so this is the pasta lane. All right, so I'm just gonna get some macaroni. I have my milk, I have my macaroni. I wanna get some spices, so let me go down to the spice lane. Lovely. So I'm gonna get some of this Carlton's Choice cayenne pepper and some of this complete seasoning, guys. And it's so cheap for so much. All right, so let me just get my cheese and then we'll be ready for our Sunday lunch cook-up. All right, so I'm just gonna get some of this cheese. And while I'm at it, let me get some butter as well. I love using this butter, it's nice and creamy. Guys, the prices here are so affordable. All right, so I think I have my stuff, so let me go cash out now. So I have my cheese, my seasonings, my butter, my milk, my peas, my callaloo bush, and my macaroni. So I'm all set for my Sunday lunch. <laughs> Welcome to the Chatak Kitchen, where it's tastier and spicier. For even more taste, cook with Chatak's Amchar Masala, Saffron, Ground Jeera, and Black Pepper. Mix in Chatak's mild, spicy Omadras curry. Get a burst of excitement with a mango Amchar, Pomsade and mango Kuchila, lime and pepper chunks, West Indian hot sauce, and lime pepper sauce. Plus, Chatak's tamarind and mango chutneys are perfect with Kalori and Sahina. So make your kitchen a Chatak Kitchen. Chatak's fruit products. Bringing good taste to life.
Connect with ACTN The Voice on Facebook or Instagram at ACTN The Voice. ACTN The Voice, your family-friendly station. All right, guys, so it's a lot of cooking going on today. So this kitchen is going to be heated, as you can see. So I'm going to start with my macaroni pie. This is so simple and so yummy. It is a Trini favorite as well. So my water is um, it's boiling hot, so I'm going to put my pasta or macaroni. As we say, I'm going to break it in half. I also added a pinch of salt to the boiling water just to give it some flavor. All right, so we're gonna let that boil up for about 20 minutes until it's soft and fluffy. So I'm gonna give it a stir. The water is really nice and hot. A lot of heat in this kitchen today. All right, guys, so next up, I'm gonna start preparing my callaloo. All right, guys, so our macaroni is boiling up quite nicely, as you can see. So we just want it to get nice and fluffy because um, macaroni pie actually tastes really nice when it's very soft. All right, so I'm about to start prepping for my callaloo. Um, so you would notice I have these very young dashing leaves or the tower root, as most people would know them by. So I have washed them. I took off the tips as we do um, in Trinidad. You don't have to if you don't want to. And now I'm gonna cut them up to start making my callaloo. So for me, the younger the leaves are, is the faster it cooks. Because you don't wanna spend time in the kitchen all day boiling one pot, pot, um, one pot sorry, of um, callaloo. And guys, I got all these lovely ingredients at JTA Supermarket. They have quite a variety of fresh vegetables and fruits. So I'm just using a small bundle of this um, the taro root leaves or the dashing bush leaves as we call them. All right, so I'm gonna start setting my callaloo pot. So I have some okros that I washed and I'm going to add my okros or okra, as a lot of people know it by. So to this one bundle of this um, callaloo bush, I'm adding about six okras. Some people have callaloo as a soup as well. And guys, these are one pot dishes. Later on when my aunt arrives, we'll be going to do the cuckoo. Another treat. Another local favorite. All right, guys, so I'm just about getting ready to finish up my callaloo pot. So I'm going to add some freshly ground green seasoning, which I also got at JTA and I combined. I'm using a bit of this complete seasoning. I'm adding two pimentos. We're going to go with two teaspoons of salt for now. Can't forget my hot pepper on the top. So basically I have my okros, my green seasoning, my salt, my pimentos. I'm going to add some pumpkin that I had cut up here already. My callaloo always has, has to have fresh pumpkin. All right, and I am going to be using some of this Nature's Charm coconut milk. All right, so I'm going to be using one tin. And I'm just going to add a bit of water a little later on. And I'm going to complete my macaroni pie. So this should take roughly about 30 minutes total. 
And as I said, the leaves are very young, so it's just gonna boil down really quickly. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna mix my pie. So I have my macaroni that's boiled pretty soft. We're gonna start with two teaspoons of salt. And again, I'm using my Nature's Charm coconut milk. So I'm adding a little twist to this pie. So I'm gonna add my milk. So I have grated my cheese and I'm also gonna add this to the pie. I'm gonna go in with some of this Carlton's Choice Complete Seasoning as well. A bit of freshly ground garlic. And we're gonna give this a stir. All right, so this pie is gonna be nice and yummy and cheesy. Oh, I'm smelling that Kalaloo already. It smells amazing. All right, so my oven is already heated at 350 degrees. This smells so amazing already. Can't wait to try it. I could actually eat this just like this. All right, guys. So let me see what's going on here. Ooh, looking good. Smells amazing. All right, so I'm pouring my pie mixture into this dish. All right, I'm gonna get all that goodness. Looks so yummy and smells amazing. Okay guys, so I'm about to um, cook my red beans. So I had my red beans pressure cooked already because um, I bought the ones in the pack so it's pressure cooked and the texture is very soft you can boil it also but it takes it takes some time um, I prefer to pressure cook or you can use the ones in the tins tins as well all right so I'm gonna put a bit of oil into my heated pan and guys my aunt is here so we're gonna be starting to do that cuckoo in just a bit I'm just going to saute my peas or stew them as we say here and then we're going to start our cuckoo. Alright, so my pan is heated. I'm just going to put about two tablespoons of sugar. It's not, well, or, or you could put less. It's not a lot of peas. So you want a golden brown consistency. But again, when you're stewing and stuff like that using brown sugar, you have to pay attention to your pot. Or else you don't want to do it five times over and over. Now, to be honest, you do not have to stew peas this way. Eh? You don't have to do it like this. You can just put all the ingredients together and you add some ketchup to it. All right, so it's about ready there. So I'm just gonna put my peas in. I'm going to add my chopped onions and tomatoes. Also my pumpkin that I mentioned earlier. Some of my ground seasoning. And I'm also going to add a fresh tomato. I'm just going to start with a teaspoon for now. We can add more later. And a bit of freshly ground garlic. I'm also going to use a little bit of Chatax um, paprika. Paprika has a nice smoky flavor. And guys, remember the, the recipes will be posted on Facebook. Um, please WhatsApp us at 393-ACTN. Let us know if you try the recipes. So I'm just going to add enough water to barely cover the top. Because remember, this, this, the piece has already been cooked, well softened, so we, do, we don't want too much cooking time again. Okay guys, so as I told you, my aunt will be here, well she is here to assist me with cuckoo. I've never made it before, but it's a favorite here in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. All right, so Auntie Mel, 
Hi. So you know Auntie Merle, she's here again and she is such a wonderful cook. And it's always a pleasure to be at her kitchen and to have her at my kitchen as well. Thank you. All right, so Auntie Mel, take it away. Okay, so basically, cocoa is really cornmeal and okras. Right. And spices of your choice. Right. It could be onions, garlic, pimentos, salt, black pepper, and butter. Okay. So we have the okras and the other veggies in the pot. It's already cooked, so I will add the cornmeal. All right, so Very fast. we had some okras and some vegetables simmering. Yes. And guys, the full recipe will be posted, so you don't have to worry. Um, you'll get to see everything that we use, and well, obviously how it's done here today. Yes. All right, so she's adding the cornmeal to the okra and veggie mixture. So cuckoo is a lot of turning, as I could see. Yes, <laughs> otherwise the cornmeal can get into lungs very ah, easily. Okay, okay. And make sure you're using a, a pan that wouldn't stick too much and a non-stick um, one of those, mm -hmm. I say beaters. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let me hold this for you. This looks so amazing already, my god. <laughs> so it has to be cooked until it gets firm enough. Right. And then we pour it into a grease dish. Right. To set for a couple of minutes. But how long um, before pouring it into the dish? Uh, when it gets sticky up. Okay. Probably about five minutes or so because cornmeal cooks very quickly. All right. This into this dish. This pot is kind of heavy, so they're giving me a little <laughs> help here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. And grease the top so it wouldn't dry off too quickly. That looks That's lovely. It. it smells so lovely. Okay. Here you go. Oh, fancy. <laughs> and there you have it. So when it's cool, <gasps> it looks so When it's so cool, amazing. you can turn it, guys. Turn it into whatever tray you want to serve. Oh, okay. And garnish. All right, so we're going to put it into the refrigerator. No, oh, no, it just stays outside, I said. All right. So, guys, let me go check on my pie because I believe it's ready. And you can garnish with uh, whatever you like. It could be pimento size, whatever. Oh, let me let me give it a taste. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh, oh, sorry. This was your garnish. Right. I almost threw away the garnish. <laughs> All right, so that there looks are, lovely. Cuckoo. All right, so let me make room for my pie because I believe that pie is ready. The callaloo is also done. Alright guys, so my callaloo is ready, so I'm just going to give it the final little swizzle. So I'm going to use my um, electric swizzler. So I'm just going to blend it together. So, Auntie Miller, what do you think about that? Very good. It looks yep. good. Looks really, really nice. Yeah. I don't like it too, too watery. No. You know, so Kalaloo has to be thick. All right, so guys, the only thing left is the red beans and that is almost done. All right, so Auntie Miller, I'm adding my final touches to my two red beans all right so i'm putting a little bit of ketchup just to give it a hint of sweetness thicken the mixture a bit so you will see all my chunks of onion and tomatoes 
And the ketchup gives it a nice flavor. Yes, it gives it a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Especially peas. Yep. So guys, there we have it. We have our spread. Um, Sunday lunch. Yeah. <laughs> um, the only thing we, we are missing is meat, but we will do that another day. Um, but we have our red beans, our callaloo, our macaroni pie, and our cuckoo made by my aunt. And uh, it's time to taste. Good. Right, so let's get ready for that. Sure. Welcome to the Chatak Kitchen, where it's tastier and spicier. For even more taste, cook with Chatak's Amchar Masala, Saffron, Ground Jeera, and Black Pepper. Mix in Chatak's mild, spicy Omadras curry. Get a burst of excitement with a mango amchar, homsade and mango kuchula, lime and pepper chunks, West Indian hot sauce and lime pepper sauce. Plus, Chatak's tamarind and mango chutneys are perfect with kalori and sahina. So make your kitchen a Chatak kitchen. Chatak's fruit products, bringing good taste to life. Connect with ACTN The Voice on Facebook or Instagram at ACTN The Voice. ACTN The Voice, your family-friendly station. So, we have almost come to the end of today's episode, and it's time to taste what we have cooked, right? Okay, so let's get started, Auntie Mel. Mm. Alright, so, so I took some kalaloo on my plate with the macaroni pie. And I have beans. Alright, so now I'm going to try some beans as well. And well, as you can see, I am a pepper lover, so I'm having the Congo pepper that I cook the kalaloo with. <laughs> All right, so Let's you didn't want any kalaloo? Dig in. Yeah, I did. Yeah, try a little bit now. This cuckoo is really nice. Guys, comfort food. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yummy. I must have a piece of my pepper. Mmm. Guys, today feels like Sunday. <laughs> All right, so Auntie Merle, we have come to the end of today's show. It was quite an experience. It was a yes. lot of food. Of course. Yes, and thank you again for your help. It was my pleasure. That cuckoo yeah. is amazing. Thank I you. couldn't stop eating. You mm -hmm. see, I'm getting carried away. Mm -hmm. So guys, as I was saying, we have come to the end of today's episode. Um, special thanks to Chatak. Um, we had a really nice shopping experience at JTA Supermarkets. They have some good deals. You need to check them out. And also Nature's Charm, um, which is 
brought to Trinidad by Kelvin M. Ghani and Company. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring a lot of these wonderful ingredients. Guys, that evaporated milk in the Kalalu was amazing. Oh, you need to try it. So guys, please check us out Mondays at 6.30pm on ACTN The Voice. See you there.